hello creatives welcome back again to my channel so i want to show you in this video how i made a crinoline ruffle fascinator so these are the materials i'll be using my crinoline and my glue and then the alice band then i have my pin and the thread and needle so these are the materials and for my crinoline the length i used is 108 inches that's three yards of my crinoline and note that the crinoline i'm making use of is the biggest size of crinoline so i'm going to tie the edge i'm going to tie it just like I'm doing in the video I'm going to tie it and I will also tie the other end as well okay thank you for joining me in today's class I create DIY contents on how to make fascinators to bands and other headways so please if you are yet to subscribe to my channel I encourage you to do so, please subscribe, like and share my videos as well. So can you see what I'm doing, I'm tying the other end of the crinoline as well. This is just to secure it and after that I will also apply my glue. At, at the place that I have already tied, I will also apply my glue to it. So you pay, you follow this video and pay attention on how I achieved the fascinator. It's actually very simple and easy to make. Okay. And so this is it after um, tying the two edges okay now I want to form the ruffle and first thing to do is to run a stitch in the mid at the middle of the crinoline so you run a kind of a loose stitch you can use uh, your sewing machine and do that but I prefer using my needle and thread okay can you see what I'm doing I'm going to run a stitch across the middle or rather the center of my crinoline this bigger size of crinoline is about five, uh, seven inches width so that's the size of the crinoline I'm making use of. While the length is 108 inches, that is 3 yards of my crinoline. That's at 6 by 3. Okay, can you see what I'm, I did? I'm running a stitch across in the center of my crinoline. And I will continue this till. I get to the other end of the crinoline. I'll keep doing it till I get to the other end. Okay.
okay so now I've gotten to the other end and I'm going to be pulling the thread and if you are you if you are, if you make use of a thread that is not so long you can actually be pulling it while sewing okay but if it's long enough you can you can pull the thread when you are done sewing it can you see that immediately you pull the thread it forms the ruffle so you are going to arrange arrange your ruffles to look so uh, beautiful okay you're going to arrange it and then you will also sew it from the from one side to the other side can you see my ruffles Um, I, I keep arranging it like I achieve what I want to achieve now I'm going to sew it this is to keep the ruffle in place so that it won't uh, loose so I'm going to sew from one end to the other end Okay, so now that I'm done sewing, can you see that it's so beautiful? And I'm going to be attaching it to the Alice band. And this is actually the last step in making this fascinator. And I'm also going to sew. You can you can use a candle gum to attach, but I prefer sewing. To the Alice band, so I'm going to sew it to my Alice band. You will have to sew it till it's very firm. The crinoline is very firm on the Alice band. Okay, so I'll keep sewing it. Please, if you enjoyed this video, please like this video. And if you are yet to subscribe, please kindly do so. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos and thank you for joining me in today's tutorial. And you can actually connect with me on all other me uh, social media platform. And I will leave the links in the description section. Okay let's connect on instagram let's connect on facebook and i also have a facebook group which after trying out this tutorial you can you can send me the picture via inbox and i will repost the name of the facebook group is diy fascinators and headpieces so let's continue can you see that we have our beautiful fascinator then what I will do next is just is simply to cover the thread. This is just to ensure that I have a neat finishing. So you can use your fabric, any fabric, maybe a fabric of the same color preferably, a trimming or a little piece of felt material. You apply your glue and stick it to the place. Okay. can you see that I've covered I've covered the thread and that is just it thank you so much for watching please subscribe like this video and see you in my next tutorial video <music>